Hi, I'm Zombot, and this is going to be a quick video about ability bars. So, a lot of friends on RuneScape have asked me about my ability bar setup, or how to do it correctly, or how to set it up so you can do hybrid PVM. And so, I've found that a lot of people have a hard time understanding how the ability bar setup should happen and how it should work. So I'm going to do a quick video on to some tips and tricks on how to set up your ability bars. So the first tip is to use all your ability bars. Don't just have one ability bar like here. So in order to change that, you just go escape settings, action bar under combat and action bar, and you can add additional to action bars. So the way that they are named is this is your primary action bar. Then you can add an additional. So I'm going to do movement. I've already named these ability bars. Then utility, then prayers. And since I'm currently wielding melee, a melee weapon, I'm going to use my melee switches for my final bar down here. So now I'm displaying five action bars. So obviously you don't have to use all of this space. It just makes it a lot easier to have key binds for abilities than having to go click. So the way that I set up my action bars is anything that I need quick access to or that I use fairly often, I have on the ability bars. So obviously your abilities, um, then things that I don't use as much, like defenses, but I might need to use them quickly. Uh, all of my ultimates, uh, spells, debuffs, sigils, anything like that, prayers especially, and then all my weapon switches as well I like to have on my bar. And then as you can see, I have my spells over here, I have defenses, and then I have the constitution abilities. So the reason I have these around here is the spells right here allow me to switch my autocast spell when I'm in a Fractured Staff special. The defensives down here, I can click things that I don't use very often that aren't as important. So like Cease or Divert or Immortality, something along those lines that I don't use very often, but I still might want access to it or the sigils like Demon Slayer sigil, Dragon Slayer, Undead, that kind of thing that I don't use very often. But there are times when I may use it. The sigils that I use the most, such as Limitless and Ingenuity of the Humans, I have on my bar that are key bound. So that out of the way, how do I set up my bar? So I have a keyboard and mouse, and my mouse I have 12 buttons on it. I have the Logitech G600. So what I've basically done is I rest my fingers on S, D, F, G right there. And so those anything on those keys I use a lot. So that'd be my basic abilities like Greater Fury and Cleave, uh, Smash, anything that I use a lot I have on that main home row where I, I rest my fingers. And the reason I rest my fingers on SDFG is because it makes it easier to access the most amount of space on the keyboard. So I can use my pinky to reach all the way up to one. If I need to, I can use my pinky on A, Q, and Z. And I can use my pointer finger to go all the way fairly easily to U. That's about as far as I consider comfortable to reach. So anything to the right of you on the keyboard, I have key bound to my mouse. So things like M and comma, those are key bound to my mouse because that's a far reach and I don't want to mess with that. Um, that's kind of how I have that set up. And then the next thing to have set up is all of your action bars should have names that make sense. So Right now, my primary action bar is number two, which if you look up here, action bar preset two name, melee two hand. So this has my melee two hand abilities like meteor strike specifically, 
uh, quake, hurricane, cleave. If I switch to dual wield, which would be action bar number one, dual wield, everything is mostly in the same spot, except hurricane is replaced with destroy, quake is replaced with flurry, and decimate is, is replacing cleave. So all the other abilities are in the same spot, except for hurricane over here is added in because of the lang effect but that doesn't really matter that much. But the biggest thing is things like Fury, Dismember, Sever, uh, Backhand, those kind of abilities are all in the same spot. And if you noticed, when I equipped those melee weapons, the dual wield weapons, it automatically switched my bar. So if I switch back to a two-hander, it switches the ability bar to my two-hander ability bar for number two. So once you have all of your names decided for the presets, then you can go into action bar binding. And this is where we get into automatically switching the bar based on what weapons you have. So each of these setups can be set up so that you can automatically switch one of your bars. And so the way that it works is you have your weapon styles, so you can select melee dual wield which action bar wants to change the main action bar. So that's this first one right underneath the uh, life points and adrenaline and prayers. So I want the main action bar whenever I equip melee dual wield to go to which preset? The number one melee dual wield preset. So whenever I switch, you can see right here, ability bar number two. When I equip my dual wield, it goes to ability bar number one, which is melee dual wield. The next step is for if you want to have another bar with your switches, like so for instance, for me, W is to switch to my two hand. So that's pretty easy. And then if I want to do my main hand, in this case, Langs is TE. Boom. Now I have my dual wield. So I can switch between things very quickly. So the next step though is if I'm going to be hybriding or if I'm on a bank and I switch weapons or I, I don't want to have to set up my ability bar every time, I can have it set up. So if you see this, my third binding setup says weapon style melee two hand, which action bar, additional action bar four, which is down here, right here. Whenever I equip a melee two hand, it switches this extra action bar number four to be my melee switches. So if I have my magic equipment on, I have my magic two hander ability bar in my primary. I have all my magic switches down here. So I'm gonna to switch to melee setup in order for me to not have to put in a lot of effort and manually switch bars. Whenever I equip a melee two hander, it changes the primary bar to my melee two hand, and it changes this fourth additional bar to be my melee switches. So now I'm ready to go PVM with melee. So that is that. The only thing that I do a little bit strange is if I have magic equipped, I still wanna be able to use bladed dive. So my bladed dive switch is my main hand lang and uh, enhanced Excalibur. So if I were to put on a melee dual wield switch, I don't want to change my magic switches bar to be my melee switches bar because after I blade a dive, I want to be able to switch to my staff or my wand and orb very quickly. So that is how I have changed that. As far as the other weapon styles, for instance, magic or ranged, if you look down here, so ranged 2H, whenever I equip a ranged 2H, it automatically changes my primary bar. So action bar primary or main, action bar preset range 2H. In addition, my binding setup number six, any ranged style will cause my additional action bar number four down here, my weapon switches, to switch to my ranged switches. So, What's different is with melee, it will only change my weapon switches when I have a two-hander equipped. With ranged and mage, anytime I equip any ranged or mage weapon, 
it switches my weapon switches to be that style. So equipping a dual wield weapon in range switches to my range switches in addition to my primary bar for being dual wield. And if I equip a wand, it will automatically swap my primary bar to be my magic dual wield and my weapon switches to be my magic weapon switches. Another thing that you can do is if you put your prayer, your quick prayer on your weapon switches bar, and if I go into my quick prayers, I have a magic ranged and melee quick prayer. And what you can do is set up your magic quick prayer, for instance, with uh, protect item, soul split, and affliction. Then you can drag this bar, or this little prayer icon down here, and now this is my magic quick prayers. And then I also have a ranged quick prayer and a melee quick prayer. So if I were to equip a ranged weapon, you see how it's kind of very difficult to see, but it's quick prayer number two. So then whenever I activate my quick prayers, it's my ranged variant quick prayers. If I switch to melee, I can with one quick click and I'm switched over to my melee quick prayers. So if you're going to be hybriding, this is the way that I've found to most easily facilitate quick switches and keeping your bars all in order so that way you don't get stuck on the wrong ability bar or anything along those lines. And that is about it for my ability setup. Uh, I'll do a quick demonstration of all my different ability bars. So with melee, like I said, uh, all my abilities stay in a roughly the same spot. The only thing that's changing is cleave, smash, hurricane, and quake and meteor strike so when i go to dual wield now i have decimate havoc destroy flurry and hurricane instead of the two-handed abilities if i go to magic with the staff i have con or sonic wave and then everything is basically the same for magic other than sonic wave uh, and i've had to put my magma tempest down here on the extra bar just because i was running out of room so when I switch to dual wield, Concentrated Blast takes the place of Sonic Wave, but everything else stays in the same place. In addition, I've kind of set it up so Q is always the bleed, no matter what style I'm using. Same thing with F being Corruption Blast or uh, Corruption Shot. Five is usually your long channeled ability. Uh, six is your quick damage ability threshold. G is always stun. 3 is always my enhanced stun, things like that to make it easy to switch between your weapon styles without making it too confusing. For instance, Y is always my damage boosting ultimate, where, whether that be Sunshine, Death Swiftness, or Berserk, etc. So then if we switch to ranged two-hand, so we have Dazing Shot, and we have Incendiary Shot, then if we switch to dual wield, we have needle strike. And I don't think I've ever used this, but I have unload instead of um, the other one. <laughs> instead of incendiary shot. And that is pretty much how I have my ability bar set up. And hopefully you learned something. Thank you.